the catalog description, the course description, I'm not going to read that. It's insulting to your intelligence to have someone read you a damn uh, syllabus or read you anything in general, reading from slides, whatever. It's disgusting. Um, so you can read the course description. But basically, you know, we're going to talk about remixing broadly from Hollywood remakes to fan art to uh, in, in, inventions and innovations and all that stuff. You know, broadly, largely think of remixing. And then we're going to talk about the legal aspects of it. Uh, what does it mean to own a trademark? How do you get copyright on music you make? How long does it last? What, what can you do with it? Uh, can you patent um, food or DNA? Um, what, what, you know, whatever it is. Um, and so we'll look at like the practical nitty gritty parts of remixing and then we'll look at sort of the philosophical ideological uh, you know bits you know and you know for, you know a lot of what we'll be addressing is what is originality what is creativity um, you know and uh, therefore what is a remix um, because some people will argue that literally everything is made collaborative, collaboratively. Nothing exists and was made in a cave or a vacuum. And so we'll be talking about that stuff throughout the term. And yo, this will be, mark my words, maybe one of the most important classes you take um, because you're all going to go into um, you know, career fields that deal with intellectual properties. Almost every career, whether it's medicine, oh, you want to go work at a, you know, a movie studio, oh, you know, what, what, whatever it is, you're going to be dealing with intellectual property. If you want to do your own, start, start up your own boutique clothing company, you're going to have to deal with this stuff all of the time. It's part of almost every business because, you know, listen, yo, like half of America, America's GDP, which is our economy, um, is based on intellectual properties, the intangibles, you know, that we, we protect. Um, most of our exports are ideas in the forms of movies, video games, pharmaceutical drugs, uh, you know, brand names, what, whatever it is, you know, um, and not like hard goods, you know. So that's kind of what the course is, the course is about. But I do think it's real important because you are all going to deal with this stuff. You are all going to deal with this stuff and every day every day you are creating copyrighted works of art and you are infringing on them and you don't know that you're doing any of this shit so that's kind of the point of point of this class um you can read the learning outcomes but you're gonna learn a bunch of stuff <laughs> okay uh, the important joint here is this is not a law class. This is a legal and cultural theory uh, class. Um, this, you know, I don't make you memorize case law or, you know, um, quote cases or none of that shit. You know, uh, I want you to know these things broadly and broadly how to mostly apply these things and how they filter out in the, in the, in the real world. So, um, you know... Take this not as legal advice. Take this as, as sort of um, a, a prep, you know, for the real world of intellectual property. Um, once you get out, you know, off of campus, you, you're going to find out this is some real, real stuff. Um, okay. Um, but I'm not a lawyer. And intellectual property laws, whether it's patent, trademark, copyright, the laws are written and interpreted vaguely. Um, so err on the side of caution and don't, you know, if you get sued for something, don't say, well, Andre said, <laughs> okay, uh, workload <clears throat> for this class is, you know, for each module, you should expect to spend two to four hours in entirety, you know, maybe up to five hours doing all the pre materials and then actually moving through the modules, uh, listening to me, watching me talk about stuff. Um, okay. Um, so this, uh, how you will be graded in this class, half of your grades based on quizzes, um, then you have per week or per module responses, excuse me, um, which are worth 10% of your grade. And then you have a final, 
uh, project and you have a choice here, you can do um, a, a remix artist, critical remix artist presentation where you present a work of remix art or a remix artist um, in a sort of academic fashion. You can do a critical remix project. Say you want to critique Nike, you could take a Nike ad and have it talk about exploiting child labor to make shoes or whatever it is. Um, or you could say there's a celebrity you really, um, are, you know, don't like or a politician and you can make a work of art that appropriates to critique them. Or you can do a paper called a synthesis paper where it's a sort of, you choose sort of a topic from the class that interests you and kind of explore it in your own world of of, 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 of interest, say maybe you're a farmer and you're interested in the patentability of, of seeds of, that grow our food and issues around that or you know you could um, be a business major and you're really interested in you know, um, you know being able to trademark and brand a business or whatever whatever it is and you want to explore that more okay a couple two really important things here is I do not give a pluses they don't exist on a 4.0 scale the highest you can get on a 4.0 scale is an A an A plus does not exist so sorry to everybody whose GPA is gonna go down from a 4.22 to a 4.21 um, but giving college students an A plus is like giving y'all um, a gold sticker for not crapping in your pants and going to the bathroom. You know, um, it's embarrassing, okay? Um, so you can get an A in this class. It's a fantastic friggin' grade, okay? Um, the other thing is I don't give 100, so the highest grade you can get on the quizzes is a 99 out of 100 points. This is because, yo, I don't want y'all getting complacent out there. You can always do just a little bit better, in this case, 1% better. Okay, so you'll choose one of those final project options um, and that will, that will go along with uh, the quizzes and the module responses. Everything is done through Canvas. If you don't know what Canvas is or how to use it, y'all got to learn.